Welcome to Let's Plan.com. My name is Steve. Today I want to demonstrate what is Let's Plan, just in a very quick and overview perspective. Let's Plan.com is an iCloud-based system, a service that allows you, the loan officer, to present numbers to your customer. In this example, I've gone to Let's Plan.com. I would click on my MLO login, enter in my email address, which is your login, and password. Once I do, I'm greeted with the dashboard. Here I'm at the dashboard and I can start a new meeting. From here, I can also enter or edit any of my profile information that appears on my cover page. I can manage fees. I can add, subtract fees. I can update numbers. Manage cost factors. This is where we enter in homeowner's insurance factor, tax factor, mortgage insurance factor, days of interest, months of ins insurance, as well as months of taxes. You can also manage your subscription from here. To begin, I'd like to start a new page. This is a meeting. This is the product that we're going to create for a customer. Here we are at the cover page. Here's where I would enter in their name, street address, city, state, zip, and their independent and separate fields so that when this is finished, you can download this in mass in your library for all of these plans that you've created into a CSV file for your marketing system. We have the monthly income page. There are seven pages. This is one of the most important ones in that it takes into account a customer's annual income, brings it down to a monthly factor. You can then enter in any debt to income ratio number to arrive at a factor that we would then subtract out car payments, credit card payments, student loans, motorcycle boats, etc. You can enter in any factors you want and expenses monthly. And we're arriving at what I call the mortgage wallet number. This is an important number because this is how banks think. What can a person afford monthly? We want to make sure that we enter in a credit score. If the customer knows their credit score, great. If they've already made application, you can use the actual credit score from their application. Another great and important piece is their source of funds. What is the cash to close source? You'd enter it there. There's email, telephone. Now you have the contact information for a customer. This page is important enough to demonstrate to a customer. Is it essential when doing a mortgage plan? No. The very least, you'd want to enter in the credit score. But the real work begins here, the loan scenarios page. You have three scenarios. But in these groupings, you have three areas. The loan amount at the top, how much home are we buying, minus down payment. In the middle, what's our monthly payment going to be, depending on the loan program. And you have all the loan programs to choose from. Please note that these programs do all the work for you. Once you identify a program, where, whether it's FHA, VA, conventional, jumbo, any funding fees, all factors will be displayed. Also, because of the work done prior from our cost factors, your taxes will automatically calculate. So your homeowner's insurance, and if there's mortgage insurance, your mortgage insurance factor will as well. Fees and costs are at the bottom. These these numbers here, which are your closing costs and your prepaids, will all be fed from this sec fourth page, the next page. And these are the numbers that came from our managing cost factors. These are also editable on the fly. So if you need to make changes, you can do that immediately. You also have your prepaids. These will also calculate once we enter in a dollar amount. Other pages include a loan comparison page. Here's where you can do a comparison of a given program, maybe a 30 year compared to a 15 or a 20. You can also look at different down payment amounts, but how would it, it would affect a customer's interest savings over time and interest over years, but also their monthly payments. You can also use this page when you wanna compare a purchase from the past and now you're doing a refinance. Maybe you want to demonstrate a rate term refinance to show a lower payment, or you could even demonstrate where you are doing a payoff, a cash out refinance to drop the monthly payment for a customer. There's also a debt snowball page to help a customer identify how they can pay off credit faster, student loans, etc., And then a loan amortization page. This is where you can enter in your loan amount. Interest rate automatically will populate and you'll be able to see what are payments over time. Whether it's a 30 year fixed, 15, you have full control over that. In a nutshell, that's Let's Plan. Once you end a meeting, you're greeted with what can you save for different pages. The staples right now happen to be the first four. You can edit, of course, the heading. 
And then the final product would be a PDF. So from that meeting, a PDF was just created, which includes the cover page, the monthly income page, loan scenarios page, and the fees and costs. You can, of course, include all other pages. I hope this was helpful, and thank you.